Scientists previously believed that the giant meteor that hit Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula killed off the dinosaurs by igniting massive wildfires up to thousands of miles away. It was believed that 66 million years ago, these wildfires caused the thick haze that theoretically covered the earth and blocked out the sun, causing cooling and starvation of plants and animals. However, a new study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences found evidence that suggests the mass extinction was caused by a different mechanism, which was also caused by the massive impact that created the Chicxulub crater. The team of scientists analyzed sediment samples from within the Chicxulub crater and from other ocean sites near the crater. In their analysis, the researchers focused on hydrocarbons called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, which can provide evidence of the sources of black carbon. The results of these studies led the researchers to believe that the sediment was mostly from rapidly heated material ejected directly from the impact crater rather than from wildfire soot. The study did point out, though, that wildfire particles were also found in the sediment samples, but that these particles were a small minority. The study concludes that while wildfires did probably contribute to the mass extinction, most of the airborne pollutants that caused the die-off were from burned materials ejected directly from the crater. If you're interested in previous scientific theories surrounding the dinosaur extinction, here's some more information. 66 million years ago, a meteor hit Earth at such high intensity that it wiped out almost all life on the planet. Now, new fossils tell us more about what happened that fateful day. Here's what we know. According to a recent paper published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, fossils at an excavation site in North Dakota called Tanis show details of what happened moments after the deadly asteroid responsible for the extinction of dinosaurs hit Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. According to National Geographic, the impact left a giant crater measuring 50 miles, or roughly 80 kilometers wide, and 18 miles or roughly 30 kilometers deep. The collision catapulted tons of molten lava, vaporized rock, and asteroid dust at high speeds. The fallout covered the entire planet and led to the extinction of 75% of life on Earth and the end of the Cretaceous period. In the recent study, paleontologists found fossils of fish, trees, terrestrial vertebrates, and marine creatures that had been flung to Tanis in the aftermath of the asteroid impact. These revealed that roughly an hour after the asteroid hit Earth, debris from the collision turned into particles of glass that rained down for roughly 20 minutes. These particles are called tektites and were found inside the gills of fossilized fish and captured in amber from fossilized tree resin. The deposits at Tanis are a result of magnitude 10 or 11 earthquakes caused by the asteroid crash that then triggered large waves known as seiches that sloshed water, sediments, and animals into areas now known as KPG sites. Researchers believe these tsunamis reached Tanis roughly 17 hours after impact. KPG sites are part of the KPG boundary, which is a sedimentary layer that marks the end of the Cretaceous period and the beginning of the Tertiary period. According to the study's lead author Robert De Palma, these fossils are a window into the aftermath of one of the most impactful moments for life on Earth. As human beings, we descended from a lineage that literally survived in the ashes of what was once the glorious kingdom of the dinosaurs and we're the only species on the planet that has ever been capable of learning from such an event to the benefit of ourselves and every other organism in our world. Paleontologists are still duking it out over what killed the dinosaurs. Asteroid impact gets sole credit for wiping out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago, according to new research. Scientists from the UK say the 10 kilometer wide asteroid that made the Chicxulub crater caused dinosaur extinction without help from volcanoes. According to the study in the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, the research team modeled the Chicxulub impact, Deacon volcanism, and combinations of the two. The results suggest the asteroid impact was catastrophic enough to have destroyed the dinosaurs on its own. Deacon volcanism is the theory that a system-wide eruption by India's Deacon traps caused or contributed to dinosaur extinction. According to the models, Deacon volcanism would have reduced sunlight by just 5% at maximum. In comparison, estimates for the asteroid impact's effect is that fallout would have diminished sunlight by 15 to 20%. This figure is enough to have guaranteed the complete 
complete eradication of the non-avian dinosaurs. The new paper naturally leads to a round of trash talk by scientists. Lead author Alfio Alessandro Chiarenza of Imperial College London said of the volcano proponents to The Guardian, quote, I am pretty sure these guys will not take it easily. Princeton University's Goethe Keller was quoted by the paper as saying, when the basic assumptions of a study are based on cherry-picked data, the results are predictable and wrong. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.